Violation of the wake speed. Making sure Cotton Bayou is protected from oil is what drives Margaret Long. I started keeping up with the uh, list of times, right dates, time. and what boat did what is almost a full time job. I wanted to know who was cleaning the boats, where were they being cleaned, and my main concern was all of the new boats that were starting to come up into Cotton Bow. Still, the oil has gotten in. She thinks it's because of the very boats that are supposed to be keeping it out of the water. That has been the neighborhood's concern, and it is still our concern. Long says the oil and the sheen that's already in Cotton Bayou didn't have to be there and wouldn't be there if people would just do what they're supposed to. We tried to get answers at the boat wash, the place where vessels of opportunity are supposed to be decontaminated. No one would talk on camera, but off camera, we're told that only half a dozen or so boats are cleaned each day, even though there are around 300 boats in the VU program. For Margaret Long, this is personal. I'm going to work very, very hard on it, because as I said, I've been here on this body of water 61 years, and it is my love. <laughs> um, and your passion. And, they, and my passion. And they're just going to have to start doing right.